What's up guys, Machine Gun Cody here, and I'm back bringing you guys another troll video. And right off the back, look at these wings, bro. Oh my god. They're like angel wings, bro. So I did just acquire these new wings. If you guys don't know how to get them, you get these wings. They're called the Pearlescent Pinions. You get them from doing 25,000 dungeons. So if you go in your start menu, look at your collections, badges and gameplay, and you check out your dungeon objectives. Once you collect all these badges, you get to the last one for 25,000 dungeons. The reward is for these pearlescent pinion wings, and these are fucking sweet. But that's not well. That's not all I'm here to talk about today. I am going to tell you guys about adventure boxes and are they worth it. So right now I have 140 adventure boxes that I've kind of just been storing. I haven't really grinded. I know it's not really a lot, but uh, that's just kind of what I had just stowed away in my chest for a while. And I'm going to open them up and see how many mounts or allies or whatever we can get. And we see if we're <clears throat> going to go positive or negative in profit from it. So, right off the bat, I'm, doing, I'm just going to show you all the adventure mounts because I do have them all. And they took quite a while to get. Some of them I opened. Some of them I had to uh, buy. But it's not a big deal. So, <clears throat> first mount is going to be the pink cookie fit mount. Oh, that's pretty cool. This was one of my favorite mounts for a while until I ended up getting dragons and stuff. And he's a just a little graham cracker cookie elephant. Uh, I'm not going to show you the blue one because it's the same thing. It's just blue. The uh, next mount is going to be the uh, Eggster Bouncer mount. And it's a little bouncing mount like this right here. It's not too bad. I'm not really into the bouncer mounts. I don't really like the way they move. The uh, next one is going to be, uh, what the fuck am I doing, it's your box, the chocolate, whatever that word is, same thing, another bouncer mount, just chocolate looking, not really into the bouncers, moving on to the next one is the uh, phoenixes, now both the phoenixes are pretty cool to me, the first one was a true fire phoenix, and this was like the regular fire, it's like a bird, but it walks like a raptor mount, Leaves little fire trails behind them when you walk around. It's pretty cool. Not a bad mount. Uh, I think the other one's a little bit better. The other one is going to be the uh, Bellfire Phoenix. And I think I'm partial to this one just because my favorite color is green. Look at that. It leaves little like acid trails and stuff. It's a pretty cool mount. Uh, the next mount we're going to go over is the Budgie Buddies. I actually like these little guys because of the little head movements they make. But there's two Budgie Buddies that you get from the Budgie Buddy boxes. There's the blue one like this. And I'm not going to show you the pink one because it's the exact same, just pink in color. After that is going to be the uh, sushi one. So there's a uh, shrimp one. And they move kind of like caterpillar mounts. And they're just, they're just sushi rolls. There's the uh, shrimp one. And there's also the uh, dragon roll, which is kind of a cool mount. Oh, there we go. He's not too bad looking. Uh, I, I don't really fucks with any of the uh, adventure box mounts anymore just because I have so many other cooler mounts. But they are free if you can earn them. Next we got the Kami mounts. There's the uh, Kami of Scorched Skies. And the other one is going to be the green one. Sheltered Shores. These mounts are pretty cool too. They're like, uh, kind of like booster horse mounts. I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, they're not bad mounts. <clears throat> After these guys, what we got next? Not the right tab. Oh yeah, we got one more. This guy, I believe you get out of the same mount as all the other ones. And it's funny because it walks like a raptor mount, but it doesn't have any legs. But it makes movements like it has legs. I, I don't know. <clears throat> After this guy, we have the Punchy Dragon Pup, which is just a, uh, it's another bouncer mount. It's like a little dragon. Uh, I think this was one of the first adventure mounts that I ended up getting. I didn't even know that you got mounts out of the adventure boxes at the very beginning until I opened this guy up. And yeah, so that's that guy. The uh, next one is going to be... The pandas. 
So this one right here, I believe, sells for like 60k because this one is kind of rare to get, and this is a fucking awesome mount, man. I wanted this for a long time and I could never earn it, and luckily I had a uh, buddy end up getting a second one and just giving it to me. But yeah, the panda mounts are really cool. I'm not a big fan of the next one, which is the Fey Panda, just because of the tail. I, I don't really get it. Like, what the fuck is that? It's like a big, wide, gaping butthole for this thing. I, I don't really understand it. But yeah, there you go. It's Fey Panda right here. Uh, after this one is going to be almost to the end here. The uh, Stingrays. I'm going to show you one because it's the same, just different colors. I'll show you the green one because I like green better. These are uh, these are really cool mounts. I like the way they move. They're real smooth and stuff. And because you're so low to the ground, it's kind of easy to get through dungeons. Not like when you're standing on the giant ass cami mount that everyone has. <clears throat> After the uh, stingrays comes the uh, lizard mounts, and these guys, I ended up getting one and buying the other one. But th these are pretty cool. There's the uh, giant iguana mount. And the Gila Monster is kind of the same thing, but it's instead of an iguana, it's more like a salamander, I guess. So yeah, here's these guys. These guys aren't bad mounts. Uh, after these guys is going to be the uh, spider. Now, I actually like all the spider mounts in the game. I think they have really awesome movements. So it's the uh, Fae Spider, and the last mount in the adventure boxes that you're going to be able to get is going to be the... Or Weaver. It's another bouncer mount. It's like the uh, face spider in a bouncer mount. And um, again, I'm not a real huge fan of the bouncer mounts at all. So I'm going to go back and put my favorite mount on because I don't really use like mounts as much anymore just because I have such fast movement speed. I just swap to turtle tank and blow holes in dungeons. So. Anyways, let's get to the unboxing. We have 140 adventure boxes. Are they worth it? Can we get a mount or an ally? If you don't know, adventure boxes do sell for a good bit. I'll put it in here. So there we go. Six, 600 is the lowest selling adventure box. And I believe the Giants of Winter is the highest. Yeah, the Giants Winter Chest sells for almost three grand a piece, and I have 24 right here. That's a lot of flux. So we better get a lot of mounts for this to be worth it. Otherwise, you guys should just sell your adventure boxes, like I suggested in my flux making video, and just buy the mounts if you really want them that badly. Here we go. We're gonna start off with the Miner's Trove. <coughs> I believe the rarest thing you can get out of this is a Digsley. not looking good diamond yep nothing so it's not starting off very good at all I know the chances to get something out of these boxes is like below 1% something like ridiculous like that so if we get a mount today at all it'd be really surprising so is the running reptile mount this is the one you get the iguana and the gila monster out of let's see if we can get either and you can use golden keys on these adventure boxes, but I don't know why you would waste something that costs so much for a mount that doesn't. Uh, we have the mini-legged adventure box. This is going to give us a spider. Well, actually, it's not going to give us shit because these things fucking suck, but I just wanted to show you guys. Sweet style surprise. Uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. A lot of flux and glim. The cookie fin elephant box is next. I hope that of one of these we at least get one mount to show off. If I do get a mount, I'll end up giving it away in the club or something like that. Uh neon dragon chemi box. Nothing. Extra adventures. I think we've already done all the boxes with the cool mounts in it anyways. I think the rest of the mounts I'm not really into. Some more eyes. Earthly Dragon. This is the one you get the little Ponchi Dragon Puff and stuff. 
Oh, okay. We did get one mount. Uh, it's, that's the like raptor looking mount that doesn't have any legs. The little Chinese dragon thing. Uh, might not be a complete waste. We'll see how much he sells for at the end. Maybe we'll end up getting some more. Find out if these things are worth it or not. I've never saved these up and unboxed this amount before, so we'll see how it goes. More eyes. Okay, there we go. Pink budgie buddy mount. That's two mounts. Another style surprise. The Phoenix chest. Getting a Phoenix would be cool, and we can't get shit. Alright, let's go to the bento box. Can we get a sushi roll? Big money, big money, no whammy. And we didn't get shit. Panda adventure chest. I know red panda would be pretty good. It might offset this whole thing and just make it worth it alone but it doesn't matter because we're not gonna get it damn the manta ray adventure chest is the last adventure chest I have and then we have the seasonal one and I don't think the seasonal one gives you any mounts at all I think it just gives you allies and nothing so these guys right here sell for the most because they're supposed to be only certain times of the year you can get them but I know Trove is not really keeping up with consoles because I know it's well into spring, almost summer, and we still have the winter chest. But if you don't know what you get out of these, you do get some allies, and they'll be down here under seasonal. So you get the Perky Penguin, which gives you 1.5% crit hit, 24 health regen. The Power Punch Penguin, which gives you 137 max health and 1 jump. The Proto Penguin gives you 58 physical damage and 33 energy regen. The Polter Penguin, which gives you 58 magic and 33 energy regen. The Plunder Penguin gives you 9% energy regen and negative 8% incoming damage. And the Prefix Penguin, which is probably the only one out of all of them that's worth a damn. It gives you 20% magic damage. And it kind of works like the uh, Chronomancer Quibsley, because they both give you 20% magic damage, but the Chronomancer does a uh, cooldown reduction. And this guy works like the Raptor Berserker. He gives you the 15% health and movement speed boost whenever you kill enemies. So that is going to be the one to shoot for today when we unbox these. Let's go ahead and get started with that. 24. What's nice about these is you do get something every time. There we go. We got a Polter Penguin. Bunch of super style stashes. If you don't know what the like bow in the party hat and raptor beanie is, they're just uh, styles for you to collect, like seasonal styles that you put in the loot collector. There we go, plunder penguin, not too bad. A lot of super style stashes, and that's it. So let's go ahead and check the uh, marketplace and see how we did. Uh, before we had 140 adventure boxes. So if we had 140 of them and the lowest one sold for 600, let's see, that's around 84,000 flux if we were to sell all the boxes. So these guys right here, let's look him up, Prodigal, let's see if we get out of that. All right, so that's, that's a 30,000 mount. That's not bad. We, we might break even on this. The uh, next one is the pink budgie buddy. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So he is uh, 20, yeah, we'll give it, we'll say 24. We'll go ahead and round it up and be nice. So 24,000, that's uh, 55,000 so far, that's not too bad, so if these guys offset it, we might have actually uh, broke even. So we'll look up the Plunder Penguin first. Plunder Penguin is 30,000 right now, wow, I didn't even know he went for that much. So. Yeah, I guess already that we caught up to the price of uh, what we would have got if we sold all of those at bare minimum. Although the winter chests were going for like three grand a piece almost. Last one is the Polter Penguin. <coughs> Excuse me. And I 
I'll be shocked if this guy goes for a lot too. Nope. Three grand. Okay. So yeah, I guess in all reality, if we would have sold all of those adventure boxes at 600 a piece, we would have went positive on it. But who knows? Maybe I just got lucky and stuff. Uh, I know that if we did sell them all, the uh, Giants Winter Chest definitely would have sold for a lot more like that. So. I guess it's not so bad to try your luck at the adventure boxes and stuff, but if you'd rather have the flux, obviously they can make you quite a bit of flux because collecting adventure boxes is nothing. All you have to do is run around through dungeons on Thursdays especially, you get double the adventure drop, you know, chance. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you smack the piss out that like button, subscribe down below. If you got ideas for future videos or just want to say what's up. Just say so in the comment box down below. I'll do my best to get back with you guys. I'm Machine Gun Cody, and thank you guys for watching.